<laughs> Tonight, the weather. There's weather here to talk about in Dallas for work. Yeah. Yes, that's true. And things have been very busy across DFW. Big area of tornado damage, most likely near Love Field. Mm -hmm. We'll get daylight pictures of that for tomorrow. We had at least a couple of tornadoes touch down, uh, perhaps one over in the parts of Russ County, but we certainly had a couple of reports as well over in Panola County. That was from a bit earlier. That was over near the Fair Play area. We were tracking a very intense storm along 79 that came through this area. This storm skirted around a little bit and even did a little bit of damage up into the Shreveport area. The Weather Service most likely will come out into Rusk and Panola counties for tomorrow to survey some of the damage. We have not had any reports of injuries, but we've had a lot of power lines down and a lot of wind damage. So a break for them right now, but there is more rain to come overnight tonight. What we're looking at now is going to be this very intense thunderstorm. And let me switch over to the Fort Worth radar site. We are noticing a fairly decent signature of an indication that we have rotation happening in the storm. First of all, severe thunderstorm warning is in effect here until 1130. So we already have that ongoing. That includes Canton and mainly areas west of Highway 19 on the northwest side of the county from Edgewood back toward Elwood, Clifton and back toward Wills Point. Let me take you, though, inside the thunderstorm. Storm. Let me show you what we're finding here with the winds. Very strong damaging wind gusts happening now north of Wills Point near the Highway 80 area, but we're also noticing the potential of some pretty decent rotation. Let me turn off the lightning for us here, get a better look at what we're finding for us here in this particular moment of the storm. If you were watching us a bit earlier on our digital stream, we were noticing here some areas of rotation getting into the strong category. That's our concern here. The weather service is very, very close to pull the trigger and upgrade this from a severe thunderstorm warning to a tornado warning. They have not done it yet. I think it will be likely to happen, though, probably within the next 15 to 20 minutes. So we want to watch that area closely. Let me give you a quick track here as the storm moves over to the east. We'll track it at about 25 to almost 30 miles an hour. If it continues along this path, along an east path, Wills Point would be in line. Edgewood at about 1120. Fruitvale along Highway 80 at 1133, perhaps Emory. That might be a little bit too far away for that small area, but you get the idea with this eastward progression. We certainly have to keep a close eye on what's happening here uh, within that thunderstorm. So again, that's the one storm that we're keeping an eye on. Some uh, additional areas of heavier rainfall moving through parts of Hopkins County as well, and we still await the cold front out to the west. Tornado watch in effect until 2 a.m. in the morning. That encompasses our central and northern areas. We still await the front. There are the additional thunderstorms that are forming along that front. Here's what I want to do. I want to give you a timeline on when the line of storms will begin to roll in. Those individual storms Storms, certainly we have to watch for closely, but the line of storms 11 to 1 back out toward the Metroplex, probably starting into our into our northwestern areas between 1 and 4 a.m. and then between about 4 and 8 a.m. for our eastern and southeastern areas as those storms move through. Once the line comes in, it's a damaging wind threat primarily, but with the two individual storms we were just talking about near Terrell near Terrell and heading into Van Zandt County, heavy rain, damaging wind gusts, the threat for a tornado or two certainly cannot be ruled out along with some hail. We've had all of that occur from a bit earlier this evening. Here comes the seven day forecast It's about to pull up for us. Now after the storms in in the morning, we are looking at cooler temperatures for tomorrow afternoon. 71 for the high looking at 74 on Tuesday. Another front more stronger because it's bringing in cooler temperatures that'll be on the way next Thursday and Friday. Rain for deep east Texas probably won't end until after about 9 or 10 a.m. Marcus, thank you.